Today, we're going to check out your safety skills. That's right. After all the safety training you've been subjected to, you ought to know quite a bit about safety. If you know safety, it makes things a lot easier. If you don't, then we have more work to do. Let's face it. Most of us know a lot of information about only a few things. Albert Einstein knew a lot about physics, but did he know anything about safety? Did he know anything about proper lifting procedures, or did he spend his training time daydreaming about the theory of relativity? Did he know about HAZCOM and chemical safety? Could he drive a forklift? Probably not. Think about it. You may be smarter than Einstein. Here's how what's wrong with this picture works. We show you some video clips, and you pick out anything you see that's improper, unsafe, or just plain wrong. Now, I know you may think the employee's haircut is a little out of style, or maybe the cameraman could have spent a few more days in film school, but we're looking at this picture from a safety standpoint. Save your comedy for when you're on The Tonight Show. One of the first things that comes to mind is safe lifting. Take a look at yourself. You've probably been told hundreds of times to bend your legs and not your back when lifting, but back injuries keep happening. Take a look at this segment on safe lifting and try to find the things the employees are doing wrong. All right, here we go. Pay attention because anybody who falls asleep has to watch it again. What was wrong with that picture? These guys are doing a couple of things wrong. The first guy here bends his legs a little, but look how far he's bent over. Bad move number one. Throwing a box to a co-worker is definitely an unsafe act. And look at the guy catching them. Even if he doesn't end up with a back injury, he'll probably lose his balance and fall off the truck. Did you notice what this employee is doing wrong? That's right, twisting while lifting. Twisting and lifting is also an unsafe act and is just as dangerous as not bending your legs when you lift. Instead of twisting, lift the item, pivot your feet to turn, and set the object down. This one is easy. He's bending over so far, he looks like he's doing calisthenics. He must not have read the sign. What about this guy? He bends his back a little too much, but more importantly, he's not holding the object close to his body. This greatly increases the stress put on your back. Always hold objects close to your body when lifting. What isn't wrong with this guy?
if you lift like this guy, we should be showing you the door instead of this video. Did you catch all of these? I certainly hope so. We might have missed a few things, and I'm sure you'll point them out when the video was done to show everyone that you knew more about safety than we do. That's perfectly okay, and we encourage it. We may not know everything about safety, but at least we'll admit it. Our next subject is called Personal Protective Equipment, or PPE. No, it's not getting a haircut, although it might help a few of you out there. We're talking respirators, eye protection, hearing protection, and many other things. Some employees use the wrong equipment, use the equipment improperly, or just don't use it at all. These are the kind of employees who don't last too long. All right, watch closely. Were you able to tell what was wrong with that picture? Our first victim, wearing sunglasses, which might make you look cool, but they're not exactly eye protection for welding. This poor guy's got bad eyesight, but that's not the problem. His problem is he must want to be totally blind. Prescription glasses are not safety glasses. If you missed this one, you're fired. This chump should be wearing safety glasses and a face shield. Dust masks are for dust only. In this instance, nobody's using them, but if they did around these kind of chemicals, they'd be in some serious trouble. What about him? Good safe lift, but unless he's headed out to basketball practice, those shoes are unacceptable. What if he dropped that thing on his foot? Ouch! Athletic shoes offer no protection from impacts or chemicals. And how about tucking in that shirt? And while you're at it, clean up the junk on the floor so somebody doesn't trip and fall. This next segment might stump a few of you out there. The reason I say this is there's still a lot of people getting sick or ill from chemicals. But what exactly does HASCOM mean? Is it some secret code for supervisors to take another extra day of vacation? Actually, it means hazard communications and it pertains to chemicals. Hazardous chemicals are found everywhere, not only at work. You can find them in your home. You may find them in your garage when you're trying to kill spiders, ants, and termites with an insect spray that doesn't do any good. Okay, you have an idea about Hascom and chemicals, so let's take a brief trip down chemical lane and see what things you find wrong with this picture.
What hazards did you pick out in that segment? This mechanic has an eye out for hazardous chemicals, or he will very soon. He's practically begging the motor to drip some hazardous material in his eyes. He definitely needs a face shield and safety glasses. I bet some of you thought it was when he took off his glove. No, he puts them back on to drain the oil, but it doesn't make any difference. The gloves are cotton. They don't keep any fluid off your hands. They absorb hazardous chemicals. The guy on the forklift is definitely brain dead. That's easy. But these other two guys get right on the spill with absorbent material. What's wrong with that? Well, if you look closer, the hero who so bravely rushed to the scene is getting covered in whatever is coming out of that barrel. Nice move. Cleaning the bathroom. What a team player. But if she would have read the label before she appointed herself captain of the cleaning team, maybe she'd realize she shouldn't be sloshing that ammonia in there like tap water. And maybe she might wear some gloves. How much do you really know about fire protection? That's what I thought. In many cases, no one even thinks about fire protection until the fire department has already been called into action. What was wrong with that picture? Here's a real safe place to store your paint, right next to the hot water heater. Smokey the Bear is not pleased. Fire hazards? Who knows? It's hard to find anything in there amongst all the junk. I hope the guy's on the phone to the fire department because there's going to be a fire real soon. Overflowing trash cans. Brilliant. The guy who dumps the trash must be on vacation. Four words. Never block emergency exits. Well, that's about as much damage as we can do in one training session. Everyone get 100%? 80%? 50%? Did you even get close? I certainly hope so. Of course, all this stuff doesn't mean diddly if you don't put it to use. Most accidents are caused by unsafe acts. Unsafe acts are created by you, the employee. Speeding on a forklift and acting like an idiot is an unsafe act. Falling down is an unsafe act. Taking shortcuts is an unsafe act. You get the idea. It boils down to responsibility. If you know how to prevent back injuries but don't, then you're an idiot and you're going to have a back injury. The same applies to personal protective equipment, chemicals, you name it. You need to get a grip and take safety seriously. If you'll do that, you'll be in good shape. If you don't, well, you know what happens. Don't go down the tubes looking like a jerk. Be smart and make safety a habit on every job. Just think. You're smarter than Einstein. <laughs>